All right. Let's go. It Kitchen is currently it is, it is currently 5:15 a.m. in the morning. We have here Mikey. What's up? <laughs> and we have Andrew. Hello. Uh, we're t today we're gonna be talking about how why we're awake at 5:15 a.m. <laughs> playing video games. Uh, it's because of all the stimulation and uh, you know stuff like that. So what do you guys want to start out with? Ex Can we talk excellent. About yeah, go how ahead. You, how everybody's just being in a zombieac now that we're stuck in quarantine. And yeah. Okay. Actually, so there's like, no reason not to be. No, no, no. That's that's good. So over the past couple of weeks, I've been going to bed at like 7 a.m. each night. Uh, because, well, one, it's because of like classes online and stuff. Um, but now that's over, it's still not great, but it's getting better. So like, yeah. when you when you're at home all day. And you're not getting the proper sunlight, the proper stimulation from going throughout your day normally. You kind of lose track. Your body loses track of your circadian rhythm, and you kind of just—it's a lot of whack. And you go to sleep at seven, and wake up at seven p.m., and it's not good. How about you, what's your guys' experience with that so far? I mean, yeah, I haven't really been outside like too much, so it's not like that's not really helping with anything. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I think it's probably what it comes down to is that nobody's really doing anything. And so, like, when you're stuck inside all day, a lot of people don't really, you know, like, B12 from the sun or whatever it is, and, like, depression sets in for some people, and, like, a lot of people just don't really do anything from inside if they don't have work or school. So now that everybody has summer, like, a normal summer activity would be, like, going outside and, like, hanging yeah. with people. But mm -hmm. you can't really do you can't that. can't play basketball or anything. Or, like, yeah, or anything like that. So I'd assume most people get bored and... And they just sit on their phone all day. Mm -hmm. so it's basically a, a chain reaction. Productive. It's one long chain reaction. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. So, yeah, it can really end up in a bad spot for most people. I mean, I haven't really checked or looked, but I'm assuming suicide rates are up, unfortunately. Um, I'm, uh, d depression yeah. is definitely up. Everything, you know. Um, people are probably nervous, too, because, like, all, uh, you know, with yeah, uh, uncertainty playing. about school for next semester, work. It's a lot of stuff, and, uh, like, even beforehand, before this outbreak, people, like, uh, younger people were never good at, like, uh, having a good sleep schedule. Forget what it was, but, like, most people are sleep-deprived almost every day. Oh, yeah, especially in high school. Like, high school is really bad. Yeah, like, you, uh... You're waking up at 6 o'clock, probably going to bed around, like, at least, like, 1. Mm-hmm. Or at least I was. Yeah. And it's all over the place. It's not even consistently bad. It's like some nights you go to bed at 3, some nights 7, some nights, like, I don't know. But it can't be good psychologically. Yeah, um, sure. At one point, I, 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 uh, uh, that was oh. not good. <laughs> That's yeah, that doesn't mean. sound very good. <laughs> um, Sunlight's overrated. Do you think this is a big ploy? by someone to kind of put down the population, make everyone depressed. What, natural selection type shit? No, like, this do you think this like is like the government? This overarching conspiracy theory <laughs> that the government is actually just trying to suppress their own people exactly. into staying in their homes and controlling their minds, mm -hmm. like we're like some hive mind? Exactly. Um, I'm glad you agree. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I've actually seen some people put, like, um, think that shit and post on social media or it's like, you cannot steal my goddamn right to do whatever I want in this country. You will never I, steal my freedom. Yeah. Well, when your freedom infringes on the rights of other people's freedoms to fucking live, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. But I understand people are just getting frustrated because of, like, jobs and, like, money and, like, not doing anything. You also have to realize, like, this thing isn't over yet. And so when that's people a, just complain and complain and complain all day, you're not going to do anything. That's another thing. I feel like, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but over the last week, maybe two, everyone's really starting to push to like leave and everything, even though not much yeah, has changed exactly. in terms of the rate. So I think people are really jumping the gun. Uh, I know that yeah, could end up the... that could end up badly, like if it's too early to leave. Oh yeah, for sure. I think the problem is like these people that keep going out and doing all this shit. They think that since this isn't really a problem to them, that it's not a problem in general. 
But when this issue spikes up because a lot of people are just doing whatever the fuck they want, right, and it just comes back, then they'll realize, oh yeah, maybe I shouldn't have gone outside. And then mm -hmm. they'll have to stay in the house even longer. So it's like short-term pain, long-term, or short-term, you might like enjoy it, but in the long term, you're going to pay for it. Mm -hmm. That's only if any of this disease is real anyway, but you know. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's real or not. Just a government um, conspiracy theory. Of course. It's made of cheese. Mm -hmm. What are what other uh, what what do you guys think is the reason for the before the corona before COVID for the bad sleep of everyone? You know, the bad sleep schedules. I don't know. I think the problem is everybody's just always on their phones doing blue light dumb shit. Yeah, and so I'm pretty sure there was like some study where it's like on your phone. If you, I mean, I feel like you're on your phone late at night. This is all common knowledge like at this some point. Chemical that like produces it. Yeah, I know, but yeah, you understand? Like, if you yeah, stay yeah. on your phone, obviously, it's not gonna help you sleep uh -huh. because you're just gonna be staring at an artificial screen. So uh -huh. a lot of people are addicted to their phones. Like, honestly, at this point, that's what it is. It can also be good though. Like, uh, people listen to uh, audiobooks or just help them fall asleep or even uh, meditating and stuff. That can be nice. Oh yeah, yeah, it can be good, but a lot of people just waste their time on YouTube or whatever. Yeah. Normally what I do is I if I'm not tired and it's really really late, I don't even try to sleep. I don't know, cooking at like 5 a.m. or something or like uh doing homework or you know, what I normally would. You're just not following a schedule, I guess. Yeah, so it's I just wait until I'm tired. I don't even force anything. Um, what do you guys think about melatonin? A lot of people, like, are taking melatonin like it's some kind of permanent solution, but that that's only for, like, I can't be for more than, like, I don't know, a certain amount of time. What do you mean, like, taking it every night? Yeah, some people take it, like, non-stop, like, you're if gonna... you take it on a daily basis, it actually fucks up your, um, circadian yeah. rhythm. and people don't really if you sleep, care. If you sleep eight day, uh, eight hours a day, and then you take it, like, in the middle of the day, or, like, at the end of the day... Or, no, 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 take that back. So you sleep, like, a couple hours a day, and then you decide to take the melatonin to reset your schedule, you're not doing anything. You're just mm -hmm. putting your body to sleep. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. And so I'm pretty sure, like, the long-term effects, like, you actually, like, lose... Like, I don't know what exactly it is, but I remember reading something where it can affect your sleep schedule, like, negatively. Mm -hmm. And sleep really is probably the most important thing out of anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's basically it's just your body going to rest and, like, restoring everything that it did throughout mm -hmm. the day. I'm really, uh... I think insomnia is pretty scary. People who actually really, really have it. That have it, yeah. Like, yeah, but a lot of people that say they do don't. That's true. That's very true. And that's what comes down to the melatonin abuse. If you can call it that. But, like... So many people who just, like, don't feel like having a healthy schedule where they don't go on their phone right before they sleep or basically, uh, you know, or any anywhere where they want to do the regular stuff, like, they just take melatonin instead of, like, being healthy, as in, in a way, uh, falling asleep in a healthy way, that's what I mean, because it's yeah. an easy, it's an easy, it's like, uh, it's an easy way out, basically, it's like a shortcut. Yeah, a lot of um, people just look for those, like, shortcuts. I guess it's, like, the same thing with melatonin, where people mm -hmm. are like, oh, yeah, I don't need to sleep, and then, they, like, fix my circadian rhythm, and then be like, oh, yeah, I'll just take melatonin during the day, and then realize that it people leads love, to, like, uh, bad dreams or, like, drowsiness during the yeah. day. Yeah, people love instant they gratification, fall, and that's a pretty good form of instant gratification. Well, yeah, I think that's also the problem, is that people get, like, that dopamine hit when you're on your phone a lot. Mm -hmm. I know that's like a buzzword that people always just use, or it's like, no, I mean, it's oh yeah, true. You're, you're having fun on your phone. It's like, no, that's yeah, for sure. I, I, I hate saying stuff like this because it's so like common sense and so overly stated, but it's true. Like a lot of it is just true. Just because it's commonly stated and like doesn't mean that people process it or like actually want to change something, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like you think you think the most basic things people would do to like improve their lives, but. Sometimes it's going to be, like, the hardest things that make sense. Mm -hmm. Again, with the instant gratification, um, like, instead of struggling for a few hours or if you really want to fix your schedule for a couple days, people will just take take shortcuts. Um, 
mean, I've kind of noticed the same thing, to be honest. Yeah. Me, at least. Where it's become a problem. Mm-hmm. Mikey, how about you? What do you think? Um, I don't know. I haven't really had, like, that much trouble sleeping, but I, I feel like, just, like, my sleep schedule has gotten fucked up so much easier than it is to, like, fix it, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's, like, beyond repair. Well, not beyond repair, yeah. but, like, really bad. No, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's so much easier to fuck it up in one day than to fix it up in, like, a couple of weeks. Exactly. Well, yeah, it's a gradual thing. And, mm -hmm. like, but the instant gratification thing, people would just, like, don't want to do, like, their homework or something, and they just prefer to be on their phone. Just, like, Adderall's through the shortcut. Yeah. Yeah, or, like, just going through their Facebook feed and not really doing anything productive. And I think that's also, like, what consumes a lot of people's days. Like, I realize for me, too, I'd also be on my phone, like... I know you quit, you, like, uh, disabled all your, or you, like, deleted all the apps yeah, off your phone. Yeah. I'm not deleted, I just disabled them, so like, kind of disciplined yourself when I kind of do that, like, constantly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, like, late night grinds like this are, like, what's screwing up my schedule, but there's also nothing else to do. It's either... Exactly. ...doing this, or just waking up, eating, and sleeping. Mm -hmm. So people just find ways to justify it. Like, even when I set myself a schedule, like I did the other day, uh, well, like, tried to follow it, I realized I didn't really have like tons of stuff that I really wanted or could do because you're kind of stuck inside besides like mm -hmm. exercising or whatever like going out for a run or something and then like I'll like read a book or something and like try and develop like do some personal development like, there, or something. there is so much time in a day for you to like really really be productive like, yeah, you, but like you said always give the excuse or it's like oh yeah I don't have enough time in my day and I've, no I've slowly there's time for everything Exactly. I've slowly noticed if you yeah. take away the bits and pieces that consume your day and that's exactly why you don't have any time, you'll slowly realize that all this time you just waste. Like nobody mm -hmm. actually is productive. Sure. Like it day, seems like uh Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I mean you're just going like twenty percent autopilot. So like more if than you that. Want, you wanna do a hundred percent, then you gotta go full in. Yeah. It seems like a like a small thing. Like being on your phone or whatever, but literally if I have to study or like get get ready for something, I'll literally like spend two or three hours on my phone before I even start. Cause the idea of oh, starting no, something, if I, if I had to study. I just put everything away. Cause not giving yourself that optionality is what at the end of the day you prefer to be on your phone than study, right? Yeah. But if you don't have that phone right next to you then you don't have that option. Like, as stupid and easy as that sounds, people don't think of that and aren't willing to make that sacrifice. Like, I know people that refuse to go anywhere without their phones. It's like, oh, yeah, no. when do you actually use your phone for an emergency call? Like, if you're going out to the park or something, if you're going out to some, like, restaurant, do you really need your phone? No. Yeah. I agree. That's a great point. A lot of these things are just kind of embedded. Everyone does it, so it's normal, but it's really not if you think about it. Um, like, people think it's normal to fucking bring your phone to take a shit, but it's not. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's not right. It's not normal. Oh, hold up, hang on. Someone's knocked on this. Yeah, I know, it's getting him. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna clip... Good sleeping schedule when I actually had a roommate who would, like... Uh, like, if, if I stayed up, like, it would just bother him, so I... Would just yeah, no, same. Soon. My roommate went to bed around, like, maybe two-ish. Two or three. Yeah. Three at the latest. But I like to go to bed at, like, four or five or something like that. But mm -hmm. him being there kind of helped but me. It, 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 yeah, it was, it was definitely really good. For, like, my roommate would literally... He would go to bed at 12 o'clock or 1. And it would, it would just, like... Help me to actually be awake for my 8 a.m.s or 9 a.m.s. Yeah, that's a good point. Because yeah, if, if he wasn't roommate. there... Yeah. Yeah, so what, but, what was that like, not having a roommate in, like... In terms of getting just... up for classes, bro, I'm one point away from being gold three or gold two. One. Cool. It's twenty seven ninety nine. Alright, we gotta go another um, one. Yeah, facts. <laughs> uh, something uh, you guys noticed, like, there's a certain amount of 
sleep you can get. Like for example, four hours feels the same as eight, but six oh, feels yeah. really bad. No, or, actually, something, something, a something lot like of the time, that. I, I think it's like six like... to eight feels good, and then like anything yeah. less or higher is just shitty. Mm. It, it's it's weird because sometimes it's I, I feel like getting two hours of sleep or an hour and a half of sleep is better than getting like five or six. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because it's like RAM and stuff. So sometimes yeah. people just say fuck it and they just like, you know. I know, Andrew, you just said that like, um, you, um, what you do is you don't sleep to reset your sleep schedule. What? You don't sleep to reset your sleep schedule. That's what I try well, to do. I mean, it's it's definitely hard. Like I'll admit, staying up during the entire day, you'll get like that hit during like I don't know, 6 a.m. where you think, oh yeah, I can just do this the entire day. But if you're gonna do it, you have to make yourself tired. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then if you you have to make sure that you actually go to bed at like 10, 11, because if not, then you're just like, there's no point. Because if you're if you're just going back to bed at like five, you're gonna wake up at three in the morning, which is just What's weird is uh, you would think that after spending a third of your life sleeping, you would be you would have really good control of it, but like no. it's so hard to control. Like you can't get up in the morning and like stuff yeah. like that. You know. Also, I, I, after high school, I would usually take a nap or something, and I would be more tired after that than I was yeah. before that. Mm-hmm. Which makes no sense. I don't know. Sometimes I just sleep and sleep until I'm not tired. I just appease my body. I really hope if people are listening to this that they're slowly getting t- more tired and tired and yawning. I eventually fall asleep during this podcast. This is an ASMR podcast. We should turn podcast. this to ASMR. Yeah, we're Welcome now. to Jewish Testosterone on the podcast. <laughs> oh, they were talking about sleep. Yeah. My mic is in my throat right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, some quality content. I like, agree, it's quality like, content. Yeah, college. Non-quarantine here, quarantine college, or other way around. Quarantine at college, non-quarantine here. Okay, you could not have said that in a more confusing way. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think I get what you mean. Confusing. Mm. Like during when it's not quarantine, right? And it's like the regular time. Like if I were here during the summer, I'd sleep better here. Yeah. Yep. But if it's like now, that makes sense. Then I'm going to sleep better in college. Right. 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 I just have to explain that for your pea brains. You're right. You know, I don't know anything about buying low Big and selling brain. high. So. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Come on, Chad. Um. Hmm. What else can we talk about sleep related to get everyone to fall asleep? Um, what helps you? What, what makes you guys fall? Do you guys listen to music while okay, you like, try to so fall asleep? Okay, so for the last for the last like two months or something, I've literally just been listening to like people's like stories and stuff. Sometimes they're like horror like horror stories. Sometimes they're just like um, I don't know like podcasts I guess. But there's I don't have anything that's like set in stone. I just people talking. My whole life, if there's a TV in the background, I fall asleep much easier. Some people, it's the oh, opposite. Oh, really? Like yeah. white noise? I guess, yeah. If it's white noise, then yeah. But I don't know which one it is. Hmm. How about you guys? Do you guys... Are you better with silence, or what? Um... I don't know. Some Sometimes I can listen to, like, music, but then other times... I don't know. I, I like I would... silence most of the time. Gotcha. I would advise against falling asleep with headphones in. It's better oh, no, to f- I don't do that. Yeah. Because that'll Do really fuck that? fuck up your ears. Yeah, Basically I mean, I'm that. assuming. I don't know. Um, I gotta stop saying, um... Why is it so bad for your ears? <laughs> well, like, it's like, uh, how long are you gonna like sleep? Like, ten hours? Ten hours yeah. of music playing in your ears. Fair enough. Yeah, and that's going straight to your ear drums. And it depends how loud you're listening to it. You know? But if you're like, lis- isn't listening to anything bad for a long time though? Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. Obviously, mm-hmm. but but you're you're asleep. You're not even like conscious. You're not it's processing so... it. it. You're not processing it, but it's still damaging your ear drums. Fair enough. Uh, that's why you can listen to it, but just not with headphones. 
So if it's, it's just not like, headphones, you can do it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like far away, like five ten feet. Correct core, like there's still this, like I don't know about the chart, but there's like this correlation where it's like a certain amount of volume and a certain amount of time. Um, mm. and uh, it's an economics it, chart. Yeah, of audio. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Regardless, uh, that's another thing that people don't realize how bad hearing is. Like, besides the stimulation everyone has and the inability to sleep, people are really messing up their ears. Oh, like, yeah. Like, bad, bad. I, I think I have tinnitus. I think I, I've had tinnitus for the last, like, year or two, I think. And it's yeah. just from, it's from concerts, because I didn't wear earplugs for the first couple times, because oh, yeah. I'm an idiot. Are you supposed to wear earplugs to concerts? Yeah. Have you ever, well, have you ever gone to a concert and then, like, when you walk out into the parking lot, your ears are still ringing. Yeah. Like that, that's Same the, thing with like, they, like you know, yeah. any loud blasting. event. Yeah. Especially when you're front row or right next to the speakers. Yeah, like at a uh, winter ball. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's like irreversible. Yeah. People don't, people don't get that. Yeah. And then, and um, I, I remember, uh, in psychology, we all, we took like a, a test, um, where, it would do different pitches and tones, and uh, it would say like, I I think it might have been like a dog whistle kind of, um, and it would tell you like what age your ears were um, compared oh, to like, yeah. your body. Mm -hmm. Damn, I didn't know that was the. Thing. I got I got mine tested like by a doctor because I had the tinnitus. I I don't mm -hmm. have any hearing loss. My hearing is good, like it's perfectly where go to where my age is. But I do have tinnitus, yeah. according to me. They can't di they can't diagnose that because they can't hear anything. Oh, okay. But I've you had. You hear like a faint ringing. Yeah, very very faint ringing when it's really quiet. I can hear it now. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, when it's like dead silent, can you hear it? Yeah, if I pay attention to it. But is it usually like background noise kind of thing where you don't really notice it? Um. Yeah. Anything above like. Anything equal to or above someone talking to me, I can't hear it. But if I'm really? like sitting in my room, yeah. then I can hear it. Hmm. And it's it's really bad. Like it it's caused like suicides before. Really? Uh, and it, it can it can get worse. It can it, get, it can get worse. So like. Is it because it's just like constant buzzing? Yeah, yeah. People lose their minds. So like, oh, I mean geez. that's that might be exaggerated, but like. But the point yeah, is, yeah. people people don't realize this stuff is permanent. It's really bad. Like it doesn't, it's not worth it. Like it's not worth for a two hour concert for a whole life of you know what I mean. So I, I've been really careful. Uh, yeah. I've been wearing expensive earbuds to concerts and stuff. Oh that, yeah, that's smart. Um, cause you okay. Gotcha. Yeah. There's like a stigma behind wearing ear earbuds or not earbuds, but like earplugs oh. to. Places, yeah. but I mean, they just look goofy. They do look goofy, but it's w it's worth it, you know. You can get transparent ones. You can get ones that blend in really well. That's what I have. But I would recommend for anyone listening, like, don't fuck around with hearing. Yeah. Um. Back to sleeping, though. Uh, I'm just here. Let me clip this really fast. Cali is good. Yeah. <sighs> that was bomb. I think he, okay, nice. Okay, I can. I'm literally. I can see a window, and it's day. It's already daytime. So. Yeah, it's like six. Oh. It's uh, okay. It's like sir. It's six. Uh, no, it's five forty-one right now. Oh my god. Um, Sunrise is very early now. Actually. Yeah. So I can't wait. I cannot wait to fall asleep at eight a.m. tonight. Oh, Dude, do not test that. I was planting. Bruh. The cow is good. You guys excited to fall asleep at eight a.m., Mikey? I'm so excited. <laughs> Sunrise was is at 5:38 a.m. It's now 5:41. Oh my god. What did you say? Sunrise was at 5:38 a.m. and it's now 5:41. Let's go. Boys, it's tomorrow. 
Let's go. I've, I've told you. Like... Hold up. You. You. I don't know. For me, at least, I don't really think it's that bad of a thing. I, I mean, I drink like one or two cups of coffee a day. So. Oh yeah, what do you guys think about coffee? I don't. I don't, drink... I, I don't drink coffee. Yeah. Neither do I. I don't like the smell or the taste of it. I love the smell. The smell's so good, and I love the taste. I drink decaf, but I don't drink, I drink like regular. Black coffee, which is much better than like the sugary shit. But it's I, I like out, I obviously. like it anyway. I like black. I like sugary. Either way is fine. They're just so cozy. Like if I'm getting up at early in the morning, I need it. I'll, uh, mm -hmm. I don't need it, but it definitely helps me get going if I have like something to do early in the morning. Yeah, I might do it if I really have something that I need and I'm tired, but very rarely. Um, yeah. I actually, caffeine sometimes makes me tired for some reason. That's weird. Like, uh, I just immediately crash really, after drinking. Like, did, when you were studying for finals, did you guys just, like, hit a lot of caffeine? No, uh, I don't even do anything. I didn't do anything. Sometimes we, I'd have to pull all-nighters because I'd have like three tests in a day or some like stupid shit. Literally so cold showers, cold showers like wake not, you up. I know, I, I like eating healthy, oh, like yeah. good energy dense foods and stuff like that is good. Mm -hmm. But um, I'd you... always slam like these energy drinks that had shit amount of caffeine in them. So <laughs> get up, it would work like God, bro, I'd be so productive. 67 of them at once, I think. Yeah, which is not very possible, but... Imagine doing that, that would be insane. Yeah, you get it through like an IV, maybe that'll work. I mean, it's just the content, I guess, Yeah. you don't have. Well, it's like caffeine overdose. I think to overdose in water, you have to drink like a barrel, a barrel full of it. How do you overdose in water? It just overflows your lungs or whatever? I don't remember. You just rupture. You, you rupture. Just drink way too much. I think if you drink a barrel of water, I think at that point you're a like barrel you know. of water. That's insane. Yeah, like I don't think anyone's done it, but apparently that's uh, I'm sure. I'm sure someone's lethal had someone has. You want to try it? Yeah. I'll yeah. Straight, all right. This is the uh, drink water to death um, podcast. Right. <laughs> I like that strat. Yeah. That strat. Like dumb ways to die. Water. Chuddy, it's kind you, of a W. Chuddy, watch out. Someone's well, technically, yellow. I guess that would just be drowning. Um. Yeah, but it's always oh, really drowning. Hit. Quarter. Quarter. Yeah. Um. Uh, One's on spiral. Okay. Jump he jumped down. He jumped down. Um, IQ is on quarter. Bro, that guy's horrible. You mad lol there's, killed there's me. A guy, killed there's a guy. There's a guy on Cav. He's in the post office area. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah. I got her. That was that was. IQ. She's got bomb too. Oh, you just gotta defend this spot. Move, Last one's on Cav. Last one's on Cav. Nice. Nice. I feel like the more that you talk about sleep, the more tired you get. Yeah, I am getting I'm getting very tired from this talking about it. It's also, I'm not getting tired well, at all. It's, it's like when you and someone yawns. It's 5:45. Like, it might be because oh, yeah. it's 5:45. I mean, I also is, slept is like a... 18 hours yesterday. <laughs> oh, how is that possible? I needed to like just I don't know. I don't really Crap. know why I did it. Crash. I just felt really really shitty like mm -hmm. I don't have the coronavirus, but I just felt like Pretty shitty, so There's something slept. really yeah. satisfying. Well, so I mean, better. I know what it is, but like, when you sleep for like 13 hours, you feel so good. Like when you wake up. Ah, it depends. Like Sometimes. on weekends, if I sleep till like one or two, it feels so fucking good. But morally, like you I'm... might feel shitty, but like physically, you feel good. Yeah, because you feel drowsy sometimes. Well, the more sleep you have, the more you need. So. I just love when I'm able to wake up without like an alarm or anything. Yeah, that's you just nice. wake up by yourself. Oh yeah, I do that all the time. Every day I wake up at like seven. 
But Apparently, how much you sleep, bad. though, is genetic, and, like, I don't know, for the last, literally, as long as I remember. genetic, though. I know, so everything's genetic, yeah. It's like, you're just a genetic copy, obviously, of, not a copy, but your genetic makeup is based on your, you know, DNA, yeah. or family DNA, or whatever. I mean, so I mean, like, it would make sense. Have, if your parents have certain sleeping habits, I'd assume you'd pick up The mitochondria them. is inherited from your mom, I'm pretty sure. Powerhouse of the cell. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Sure. So like. Shit. What was I gonna say? Oh no. I can't oh. read your mind, can I? No, but you can't read could, the mind of cool. stock brokers. Stock brokers. Yeah. All right. Wow. Finance joke. Laugh. Hey. You know. Oh my god. Do you just think of me as like one of those people that just sits on the phone all day and just calls random people like asking I have this really really good deal Yeah uh, like in clip like art a salmon from like think... Wolf of Wall Street If you look up a uh, businessman on clip art Oh my god That's what I think Well I guess I'm going with pistol why, So why? do you guys prefer to sleep in the cold or the heat cuz uh cold is always a good way to go I mean, uh, I obviously prefer to sleep. I mean, my room is like 50 degrees naturally because yeah. like there's some weird thing with air conditioning in my house, so it's like always fucking freezing. So I don't really have a choice. Can't aim. No. Uh -huh. In person. Really? Guys, I'm the opposite. I'm a night owl. I'm a. I need to be uh, working I mean, at night. I just. I don't know. I definitely like enjoy waking up early and. Just having like a cup of coffee and just like reading or listening to news or something. No, I I literally do everything at night. Like I do all my work at night. I shower at night. Oh, yeah. Well, that's just like a lot of people do that. That really doesn't have anything to do with being like a night owl. Just a lot of people procrastinate or whatever. Like lazy. I guess. <laughs> I do sometimes I, like I the morning if that. it's the mood is right. But um. I'm fine. I'm like generally productive during the day, and obviously, like everybody's more productive if like a deadline's approaching or whatever. You like, can get oh, so yeah. much done. Like we've talked about it before earlier. Like you could literally read a book, do your groceries, do a bunch of uh, I don't know, like anything. You can do exercise. You can do so much stuff in one day if you wake up like a few hours earlier. Yeah, you can. It's true. Uh, which, you know. Real shit. Real uh, shit. I agree. The problem with most people is that you, you don't really think about, like, what you're going to do next. And so you, you kind most of, Most people like, do the, people do the bare minimum. They get their work done yeah. and go to sleep. But you can, I don't know, there's so much to be done. If you just think, like, in life, oh yeah, I'm going to do the bare minimum and get away with things. Like, I did that for a while. Just don't feel satisfied. It's very unfulfilling it after a while. Yeah, you'll be like, oh yeah, you know, I don't need to do this. But, um. You, when you're that productive, things, when you really wake up early, get everything done, and then some, then you really feel good about yourself. Oh and yeah, then, 100%. I'm done by, like, most of my shit nowadays, I'm done by, like, 1 o'clock, like, p.m. So I have the rest of the day to just do whatever the fuck I want. Mm -hmm. Whether it be, like, actually being more productive and getting even more shit done, or, like, chilling and playing video games with like my friends which is really nice i've grown towards that a lot more also like and now uh, the more and more time passes i cannot stand knowing that i have things to do i have to get it done i hate like the whole high school and the, the high school schedule yeah that was a grind really you, that was not good because they just make you like turn into a robot essentially busy work and busy, like, busy. oh yeah you just keep doing this until from nine to three and don't do anything and you're not doing yeah. anything fulfilling or like making any progress. You're just, and even if you might learn faster than the regular thing, it doesn't do you any good. That's why I like college schedules a lot more. Mm -hmm. When it comes to like that. work, I think it's quantity, oh, quality. Good. That's a good mixture of like repetition it's of just things. You, you to be yeah, a robot. Pretty much. I know, like that's some like bullshit you'll hear from some anti-corporate liberal or whatever. Where it's like, <laughs> hey, big business bad. Hey, don't do that. I mean, it's true though. Like. Schools turn you into some like system per player or whatever. Shoot yeah. hit! Oh my god, this guy's horrible. Oh my god. Twenty. He's just got to your right. 
immediate right, right behind like that barrier, and all right, that recoil though. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot control that. Curious. The recoil on that gun is ridiculous. Do you Keys. listen to other podcasts, Judd? I listen to a bunch, but Keys, I want to ask you. Do you feel like you've become kind of like a, uh, a tool? Like, kind of like a, like a robot? Like a, uh, you kind of, you get nervous if you step out of line. You kind of don't want to disobey. Yeah. You kind of, you kind of don't want to stray from the pack. Yeah, I guess, but sometimes, like... I mean, I, I've I've learned that over like the past semester or two that like, in order for you to actually like do well later in life, you actually have to put yourself out there. And Not even I don't that. know, like, I don't know, like doing st stuff like different than other people. Mm -hmm. The way I view it, but, for but me, I obviously still am. Yeah. Like, I mean, for me though, I feel like I try and view every day as a day for me to get better. It's something you don't have to get better like you don't have to see like mar you know huge progress but if it's marginal and you feel that you've accomplished something more than you did the day before then that's mm -hmm. all that comes down to like mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter about the end goal I know it's like philosophical and shit but if like I wanted to run for five minutes one day then I'm gonna run 10 minutes the next day and then I'm gonna run 15 minutes then right as long as you keep progressing you'll eventually get to that goal like as stupid and easy as that sounds you just have to break things down into like simpler forms. I agree. I think there's a huge turnaround happening where the mindset that you have now is very uh, becoming a lot more common, and I think people are really trying to stay motivated nowadays because they're they're realizing that there's nothing fulfilling about spending all their time playing video games on their social media or even like sleeping or watching TV or anything that doesn't you don't it's filler. people want to produce more now than they're than they're consuming. Because people bro, always seek to <laughs> people that. want to find the meaning, you know. But yeah. uh, the only way to maybe do that, I don't know, is to really uh, be productive, and that's what people are trying to oh, do now, which is good. Oh. The replay, they're they're doing like side to side, like peaks. Bro, I'm one MMR away. You ran no. outside. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, so is there anything? The uh, I think we've talked a good amount about sleep, and we talked a good amount about um, what else did we talk about? Motivation. Cars. Motivation stuff, and like I don't know some other bullshit. But uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Everything we've been saying is all true, and I I really do believe that people want to find uh, better ways to do things. Is there anything you guys want to say before I close it out? Uh, Mikey, start out with you. Uh, I don't know. I just like stay motivated. I guess I don't know. Even during this quarantine, even though I'm not really doing a good job of it. Mhm. Mm don't somehow st find a way to stay motivated. Find something new. All right, that's good, Andrew. First off, I want y'all to subscribe to Michael Plays. Yes, <laughs> I agree. I content. agree with that. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Exquisite For content, sure. and his his videos in Rocket League are excellent, in my opinion. No, you know. And second, like, if, if I like, were just starting out and realized, like, oh yeah, I'm just a lazy piece of shit that does nothing during the day. Just take it like incrementally. You don't have to like snap your fingers and become like a god. Mm -hmm. just do things marginally, and you'll be fine. Yeah, it's a great point. Um, and take it seriously too. Don't be like one of those people that's like, I'm on a diet, and then like they, you know, as kind of like I a read joke. Something the other day later. where it was like 90% of diets fail within the first like week. Yeah, that's yeah, obvious. Yeah. That's very true. Like, I don't know. Same thing with like New Year's resolution with going to the gym. Mm hmm. That's I mean, it's not pretty even, common. You know, staying motivated is always important, but it's like, find deep down, don't view it as an extrinsic thing, right? So if you have a reason to go to the gym because you want to look good for other people, you're less likely to go to the gym than if you want to look good for yourself and feel good about your body, right? Mm -hmm. It's extrinsic versus intrinsic motivation. So just feel it like that. I like that. those vocab words. Like, 
just be like, oh yeah, I'm going to become a better person because I want to, not because I want to look good on social media. And so you'll really realize that you're more motivated that way. I think people like to look at others as well when it comes to their <laughs> motivations. Because people will be like, oh, uh, this person... Yeah. Uh, uh, this person has a huge advantage. Why would I even try to keep up? Jeez, you left. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get no. off to in a second. Um, no. I know. I know. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. This has been the Jewish Testosterone Podcast. Thank you, boys, for joining me. It is currently 6:01.